Hi everyone, uh, my name is Aini Andrea Shirin Binti Anwar Rudin, but I prefer to be called Shirin and I'm from Bangi. Uh, it was in 2017, um, I felt a lump in my breast eh? and then I've never had lumps before, even during my menses and we discussed with my husband and then my husband said, okay, whenever you have the time, just go for a checkup. And then I came here, I came to Avicina to meet my son's doctor, uh, Dr. Firdaus. And then I saw there was a promotion for mammogram and ultrasound. So I just walked in and then um, Rezeki, it was my Rezeki that there was a slot open for mammogram and also for ultrasound. So I just signed up and then uh, did the mammogram. When uh, it was about time to do the ultrasound, uh, as I was lying down on the bed, um, the nurse actually put up the mammogram film too. And then I saw on the left side, it was clear, but I did not say anything. And then when the radiologist came and then uh, did an ultrasound on me, uh, she took quite some time on my right side. And then she said that it's, it, there's something um, suspicious. And we did the biopsy. And then within three days, um, I came to see Dr. Sarina and I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer in 2017. So I have no family history. None, uh, none of my family members uh, have um, cancer. And then after that, uh, we asked Dr. Sarina uh, what should we do? So she advises and things like that and then gave us options but we followed her advice. She did my um, surgery, a lumpectomy and also axillary clearance in uh, Institute Cancer Negara in Putrajaya and then but my follow-up um, has always been with her so I would come to Avicina um, to see her to do my follow-ups and also my mammogram and ultrasound. When you have um, cancer you need explanation, yeah? You need clear explanation. You need to know what to do. So every time um, I have questions, I could just text her and then she would reply. So that is very important for me to you out there who has just been diagnosed. I know it's scary, but don't think that you are alone and don't blame God. Um, God is giving us a second chance for us to make things right. Be strong. Follow the regime that doctor, your doctor advises you to do and be patient and talk to the people who love you. Do not shut them off. So just let it out. So you feel lighter. You feel much lighter. So pray, whatever religion you are in, just pray and ask God for patience, for strength and of course, untuk disembuhkan lah uh, sepenuhnya. As I said earlier, uh, fear. Fear is always there. Even until now, the fear is always there. Sometimes, suddenly, right, you know, out of nowhere, I would cry because, well, okay, okay, seven years is clear, but we will come back yeah, and things like that. Dr. Sarina really helps because every time I have any concern, I could just text her and uh, she would reply. And then if she feels that, Okay, you should come in. She would come in and then her nurse is also very helpful. And uh, Vicina's uh, staff, the nurses at radiology and, and uh, the clinic, they are, they are very friendly and very helpful. So I feel that Avicina provided me with warmth uh, and also comfort when I come in, when I walked in. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, uh, of the warmth and the comfort that my doctor and Avicina's uh, staff uh, provided me.